Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Pure Biology and today I will come with another video that is related to um, cell uh, biology and obviously from cell signaling. This is the calcium calmodulin complex. Okay and before going to this topic I want to say thank you to all of you who have already subscribed my channel and I want to say or you can say I request you to the newcomers in my channel you just uh, subscribe this channel to support me to give you uh, to uh, give you best okay and <coughs> obviously share this channel if this is helpful to you and uh, you just uh, hit the bell icon for getting all the notifications of my uploading videos and uh, i generally upload my videos in alternative days of uh, in a week obviously so generally uh, on tuesday thursday saturday and sunday okay <coughs> if i busy in another work so in that situation uh, any day mistakenly my video uh, is not uploaded okay so <coughs> let's uh, continue this uh, topic that is the calcium calmodulin complex sorry okay so here the calcium calmodulin complex is what so many of the effects of calcium ion that is ca2 plus are mediated by the protein calmodulin okay so calcium ions are if the effect of calcium ions this is related to the protein calmodulin which is activated by calcium ion binding that means calmodulin this is the protein when it becomes active when calcium ion that binds with this protein clear and when the concentration of cytosolic calcium ion increases so when calcium ion try to bind with this calmodulin molecule or calmodulin protein when the concentration of calcium ion in cytosol is high in that situation calcium tries to bind with the calmodulin protein generally <coughs> calmodulin is what this is a small highly conserved calcium binding cytosolic acidic protein okay small highly conserved calcium binding cytosolic acidic protein and these are found in all eukaryotic cells where these are found these are found in eukaryotic cells and one calmodulin molecule that binds to four calcium ion okay it binds one calmodulin that binds with four calcium ions and acts as an intracellular receptor regulatory calcium signals so when calmodulin protein or protein molecules that bind with the four calcium ion they becomes activated and this intracellular receptor produce calcium signals okay so this receptor the acts as an intracellular that means calmodulin molecule when binds with the calcium ion this acts as a receptor regulatory calcium signals okay or it produces produces calcium signals so calcium ion binds to calmodulin in such a way that a small change in the level of cytosolic calcium ion leads to a large change in the level of active calmodulin what is saying that the binding of calcium ion and the protein molecule is occurred in such a way that any small change is seen in the level of calcium ion this create a large change in the active calmodulin level okay if any changes very small changes occur in the binding process of calcium ion with the calmodulin mo molecule this creates a large change in the active 
active calmodulin molecule. Clear? Clear? As it binds calcium, calmodulin undergoes conformational changes which can increase its affinity for target proteins. So it's natural when calcium ion that binds with this protein molecule, it creates a conformational changes. Okay, that's why any other molecule that cannot bind with this uh, calmodulin. Rather, uh, four instead of four, five calcium ion also cannot bind with the calmodulin. Is it? It is not possible. Okay, so this conformational change is forced by the binding of calcium ion with the calmodulin molecules. Clear? It acts both directly through interaction with keys and uh, target enzymes and indirectly via specific kinases. Okay, so if the binding process of calcium and calmodulin this is this uh, direct binding with the calcium and calmodulin. It creates a change or it creates a ca calcium signal. Likewise, sometimes some enzymes also involved in the binding of this process. And in, in, in that situation, the binding of both two calcium and calmodulin that is indirect process. Okay. And many effects of calcium are more indirect and mediated by protein phosphorylations and catalyzed by the serine threonine protein kinases. So what I am saying that? Just I have said that if any enzyme is involved in calcium and calmodulin binding or the binding process or the complex formation, in that situation the process becomes indirect. And this is occurred by the process of phosphorylation and enzymes involved by this process, it is called the protein kinases. What protein kinases? Serine and threonine protein kinases. So, the binding process may be direct or indirect process. If direct, so there is no enzymes action is seen, but if indirect, then enzyme action is seen. What kinds of enzymes are needed? Serine, threonine, protein kinases enzymes are needed. And which process is involved for the binding of uh, this uh, complex? This is the phosphorylation process. Clear? And here, the calcium calmodulin dependent kinases known as the CAM kinases. Okay? This is called this uh, indirect process uh, where the kinases are involved. This is called the calcium calmodulin dependent kinases or CAM kinases. Some CAM kinases that phosphorylate gene regulatory proteins such as CREB and okay, CREB is the short form and the full form of the CREB I already have explained in my previous video so you check out that. CREB proteins and in this way activate or inhibit the transcription of the specific genes. So what is saying that this CAM kinase that phosphorylates some gene regulatory proteins. So here is example is that CREB protein. So this CAM kinase actually uh, phosphorylates which protein suppose CREB protein and in this way it can activate or it can inhibit this CRB protein and in that way also it affects on the transcription process. Okay, so it may be active, uh, activate or inhibit both are possible for the transcription process or that means that transcription process may be activated or inhibited. Clear? And calmodulin uh, participates in the same motility. Some examples are there in where this uh, uh, calmodulin, these proteins are involved. Here the example is that exocytosis, cytoskeletal assembly, intracellular modulation of both CAM and calcium concentration and obviously the cell motility. Clear? So 
this is very short topic of calcium modulin complex and here i just try to explain the role of calcium uh, on the calmodulin this is the protein molecule how the calcium affects on the protein molecules clear so if calcium level is high in the cytosol then this calmodulin is activated when calcium binds to it okay so this is the uh, process where the calcium has an important uh, role in uh, cell signaling so <clears throat> you just uh, see this video and after that uh, you can consult any book that is related to cell biology obviously so the, the, uh, this topic must be or this uh, uh, actually topic uh, the, the complex that is clear to you okay so continue with my channel thank you